No bumper, going to get right into it. Gene retired from Mexico. So counting down my 133 favorite artists. Why? That's just, that's just how the list worked out. Thanks for joining me. I love rankings. I love, I watch these kind of things on other YouTube channels all the time. So if you're here, thank you. And I won't waste too much of your time. Just real quickly, I made 133 playlists, 80 minutes a piece. That's the length of a CD. And then I ranked them. And then have I seen the artists live? Do I read articles about them? Do I buy books about them? You know, what's my basic interest? And so coming in at number 122, um, someone with my namesake uh, from Dorset, England, been making music now for nine plus 20, 33 years. Third of a century. Wow. Yeah. And yet we consider her uh 90s artist made her debut in the 1990s and this is uh pj harvey Polly jean harvey i that's why i said namesake jean spelled differently though of course and yeah I, I i like her music um you know occasionally it might be abrasive to my ears on a certain night where i just like you know i'm not in the mood for her but nine times out of ten she really hits the spot uh, I have not seen her live. Uh, that would have been great if I had. And favorite albums are Is This Desire? Stories from the City, Stories from the... What the heck is that album called again? I always get that title mixed up. It's um, Stories from the City, Stories from the Sea. Yeah. And then I like uh, Let England Shake. So I've got a playlist below. I'll give you the link to it. Uh, I used to have some of her albums. They're gone. I don't remember how I parted with them, but I know I had stories from the city, stories from the sea. I, I know I had to bring you my love. Um, oh, one of my favorite songs of hers, if you haven't heard it, uh, and it's from the Peel Sessions, and you can also um, find some video. She did a cover of the Willie Dixon song, Wang Dang Doodle does it in a red dress try to find the version on mtv hundred and whatever minutes it was i forgot the name of that show hundred something minutes and uh it's fantastic but yeah and why do i like her she's just um she's got that uh she's got that balance of the feminine and the masculine you know what i mean i mean she's he, she's a a tough one without making it a put on it feels authentic to me but she's very vulnerable too so she takes that those different um power dynamics of masculine and feminine plays with them all the time um yeah and it's one of her early album produced by steve albini i'm not always a big fan of albini but i thought he did a great job with her and then she worked with flood and different producers and yeah i like all of her albums the, you know the only one that's a little hard for me is the is the one where she sings in a higher register it's called uh white chalk white chalk bit of a difficult album for me but yeah i'm on board with with everything else and yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, uh, just a really talented artist, still going at it. Just released an album uh, this year, right? Might have been late last year, but uh, the new one that she released, uh, Inside the Old Year Dying. No, that was 2023. came out. Wow, time flies. But uh, yeah, she's still relevant. And that's it. As we say here in Bonita, Mexico, uh, Buen Dia, hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. And talk to you later.